Arrowhead and Zurich have teamed up to offer multi-line package coverages at competitive prices. We're bringing new life to ambulance insurance. Learn more at arrowheadgrp.com slash ambulance. Will there ever be a common global regulatory framework for insurance? Howard Mills, the chief advisor for the insurance industry group at Deloitte and a former superintendent of the New York Insurance Department, says he thinks the U.S. political environment is an obstacle. In this interview with Carrier Management, Suzanne Sclafane. And the whole idea of a truly global common framework, a common regulatory playbook, if you will, especially around things like solvency, um, I don't know that we'll ever truly get there. And let's go back to what we just talked about a moment ago, uh, why the U.S. didn't just, you know, lock arms and, and go with solvency too, because our regulatory structures are different. We have 50 independent state commissioners. The idea that all 50 states would adopt what's seen as a European construct around solvency too was never politically viable in the United States. So we came up with Solvency Modernization Initiative. So I don't think that, you know, looking at Solvency II SMI as an example, that the prospects for a truly global common framework is something that, uh, at least in the near term, is something that's, that's, that's realistic. However, I do think that the regulators globally are working toward a much more common framework, not technically exactly the same, but we're seeing the manifestation of what may turn out to be the ultimate level of a comm frame uh, in the supervisory colleges. This idea that the regulators from all around the world will get together regularly in, in what they're calling a supervisory college, which is really no more than a, a method, a, a construct for regulators to regularly interact and, and to really understand each other's processes. And I think that this is very important. It's something that's being embraced. I mean, just the level of, of international activity on the part of U.S. insurance regulators from the time that I was an insurance commissioner has increased dramatically. The attendance of U.S. commissioners at the IAIS, the International Association of Insurance Supervisors, regular interactions with other regulators like the Bermuda Monetary Authority and you know all of them is up dramatically. And I think that they really are focusing on having the ability to understand each other's methodology. So if you're a U.S. state insurance commissioner um, regulating a, a parent company that has a subsidiary somewhere overseas, the idea of, of this supervisory college is that you'll have enough of an understanding of another overseas regulator and an ability to call and interact with them and talk to them and say, hey, look, you folks regulate this subsidiary. I'm concerned about the parent to really have a good sense for the health of the parent, I need to know the health of the subs, so that you'll be able to have a level of comfort when that regulator says, yes, we've looked at that sub and, and we feel that their solvency is, is assured. Um, that's, I think, the ultimate uh, objective here. Um, maybe not so much of a focus on crossing every T and dotting every I exactly the same, but having that understanding. 